Millions of years ago, underwater volcanoes created an archipelago of islands in the Pacific Ocean. The winds and ocean currents carried across the first plant and animal life, and soon, vegetation rafts from the mainlands of the Americas brought with them land animals, unknowingly about to set out on a multi-week journey into the open ocean. To 400 kilograms, even giant tortoises were carried by the currents, eventually washing up on the beaches of the Galapagos Islands. These reptiles, along with the iguanas, became the dominant land animals here. With harsh dry conditions, as well as great distances to the nearest landmass, there is nowhere on Earth where the evolution of species is demonstrated with as much clarity. Here, you'll find weird and wonderful animal adaptations on each of the islands. Galapagos Islands were named after these large reptiles. Galapago is an old Spanish word for tortoise. Giant tortoises can survive long periods of drought, about a year in fact, without any food or water. On islands with more humid conditions, the tortoises are larger, with more dome-shaped shells and shorter necks, while on islands with more dry conditions, the tortoises have evolved to be smaller, with longer necks and legs, so that they can reach the higher vegetation. My favourite animal of the Galapagos Islands is this Godzilla-faced creature. In order to survive the times when the islands lacked vegetation, the marine iguana became the only seagoing lizard in the world, using its tail like a powerful oar. These friendly lizards dive to over 10 metres to feed on seaweed and green algae and can hold their breath for over one hour. As the ocean temperatures rise, their food sources will quickly disappear, so it will be interesting to see whether they can adapt to climate change. Like many animals here, the Galapagos penguin is endemic to these islands. That means that it is found nowhere else on Earth. In fact, it's the only penguin to cross the equator into the northern hemisphere. Breeding populations would have originally arrived here following the Humboldt Current, which brings cold water up from the coast of South America.
All of the animals on the Galapagos Islands are friendly and approachable, but the award for the most entertaining would have to go to these sea lions. The way they act, I am certain there's sometimes humans inside their sea lion bodies. These shady characters also cut dodgy deals with the fish vendors so that they can get a slice of the action. The ocean here is rich with marine life. Currents from the south and west bring nutrient-rich waters, while warmer waters from the north create the ideal environment for a tropical marine ecosystem. When you dip below the surface, you'll see hammerhead sharks, monstrous turtles, rays, seahorses, and lots of tropical fish. I could go on and on about the bird, insect and plant life on the Galapagos Islands, so perhaps consider this a good introduction. Make sure to follow this up with Sir David Attenborough's three-part series covering the origin, adaptation and evolution so unique to these incredible island ecosystems.